you know, where, where does it happen for you? Like, where are those places and those spaces where you feel most connected? And I don't mean connected to something outside of yourself. I mean, where are those places and spaces where you feel seriously connected to yourself? Hello, hello, it's me, Jo Norton. Yes, I am talking to you from the bathtub, my favorite place to be, where I am most in flow. So why not hop in and join me? The water's warm, the bubbles are high, and we are tapping in to mind, body, and soul. Oh, hang on, just a quick caution. There's likely to be swearing. That's just what happens when I'm excited and in the flow. So if you've got sensitive ears, you might want to scroll on by. See you in the tub. Here we are. I am so bloody excited. I'm so bloody excited. Tub talks. Here it is. The husband just said to me as he was helping me set up and he walks out, right? And he says, just do it, right? Just do it. Just record it. Because you know what? Whatever it is, whatever happens, it's absolutely perfect because it's the first time. It's exactly as it's meant to be because it's the first time it's perfect in its imperfection and actually that sums up what I'm doing here what we are doing here together tub talks is all about reconnecting with a truer deeper wiser higher more limitless awesome amazing wonderful wide awake part of ourselves and the reason why I'm here doing this yes in the bathtub is because this is the place where I am most connected where I'm most in flow it's the place where I'm in that beautiful what I refer to as being energy and so everything feels like it's just flowing the ideas the inspiration everything comes in and so I'm going to tell you right now, I have no fucking clue what I'm about to talk to you about. I haven't prepared this. I haven't thought about this from the thinking mind and written it out. Not that there's anything wrong with that, right? That can be a really useful like place to go and, and place to start from. But I found myself for so much of my life in that place. I found myself in that place of yeah, needing, needing things to be perfect, needing things to be planned and prepared and structured and really thought out, often over thought out because I was scared, because I was scared, because there was a part of me, if not numerous parts of me that said, Joe, what if you don't know? What about that? What about if you are in the middle of something or even at the start or the end of something and suddenly you don't know, you don't know what to do next, what to say next, who to be next. And it's something over the last few years, particularly since four years ago, I suffered a brain injury and had to reteach myself a lot of skills, a lot of knowledge, a lot of memories and had to relearn almost who I was, but I had the opportunity to not just relearn, but also to recreate, to rebuild on purpose so many parts of myself. And since then, I've been leaning more and more into trusting, into trusting myself, into allowing what flows through to flow through. Knowing that whatever it is, even if it's a fuck up, even if it's a total stumble, even if it's, you know, something that other people don't like, that it's exactly where I'm meant to be, how I'm meant to be, what I'm meant to be, who I'm meant to be in that moment. And so that's what, that's what we're doing here together. We're going to have these moments together of opening up to this flow of really reconnecting and realigning with what I'm going to refer to as soul, our soul self, our higher self, 
ourselves as consciousness, as the awareness, as the source, the energy of creation itself, of life itself. And from that place to be able to then bring in the beautiful mind and the beautiful body and the humanness of those things, but to bring them in from a more wide awake place, to bring them in to choose them on fucking purpose, to realign the wholeness of ourselves in that wonderful way. And so just notice what's happening, right? As I sit here in the bubbles <laughs> with my cup of tea, hang on, let me take a sip. As I do that, things start to flow. The words start to flow. A connection is reactivated inside. And it happens in me in this space. And I know it happens in you. I know it does. You know, where? Where does it happen for you? Like, where are those places and those spaces where you feel most connected? And I don't mean connected to something outside of yourself. I mean, where are those places and spaces where you feel seriously connected to yourself? seriously connected to something in you that you just feel is wiser, truer, more powerful, more limitless than you've been allowing yourself to be in so many other moments of your life when you're caught up in the doing. Where are those spaces? Where are those places for you? Like, tell me, share them with me. I'd love to know. Is yours the bath? I know loads of people say that for them, the shower, like if you think about it, that lovely water like trickling on you. I love the feeling. I'm a sitter. I, I love to sit down. <laughs> I love to sit down. I love to lie down. Loving a bit of that. Loving a bit of like lounging around. And so me, for me, sitting in water is just fucking joyful. But for you, maybe it's in the shower, feeling that energy and that invigoration of like water kind of beating down on you beautifully. Or maybe it's when you're out for a walk, connecting with nature and just kind of, you know, there like being or wherever else it is, maybe drawing or painting or writing. Where are those places where you seriously connect to you? It's something I chat to my clients a lot about noticing, noticing, truly noticing where we are in more of our doing energy and where we're in more of our being energy. Because the being energy is the energy I'm talking about. And that is not me saying that doing is bad and that doing is is somehow second rate or we shouldn't be doing because actually action really is what moves things forward. Action is absolutely what moves things forward, but the action that truly moves things forward is inspired action, aligned action, action that is coming from a place of wisdom and guidance inside that says this next and now, this next and now. That's the sort of action, the sort of doing that really helps us take leaps forwards in our lives. And so it kind of has to start with us connecting to a being energy. Some of the things that I really notice about that doing and being energy is that there often is a real struggle. I know there's a struggle inside me often where there's the part of me, the mind part, the ego part. And I say ego not as a bad thing. Ego is a bloody wonderful thing. Ego is simply this mind and this body and how I have this human experience. But that ego mind loves to say to me, oh, Joe, you know, just do this, distract yourself with this, do this next, distract yourself with this. Because the ego's there trying to protect me. It is 
it is scared that I am going to step forwards and leave it behind. It is scared that I am going to step out and something bad is going to happen and it's going to be the end of me, right? And so it, it brings in those lovely voices, bless it, to kind of go, just let's just be careful. Let's, let's just stay with the familiar. Let's just stay with what we know. Wouldn't that be a, a better idea? Don't step out. Don't be too visible because that's going to be dangerous. And so what it loves to bring us is all the things to do to distract ourselves from who we really are. That's ultimately what's happening. It's a distraction from who we really are. And it's in that being energy that we remember. We remember who we truly are. We remember our unconditioned self. You know, the ego as our conditioned self. And then we remember our unconditioned self. We remember ourselves in this present moment being so tapped in, tuned in to the awareness, to the awareness of self, of true, limitless, higher soul self. And so the ego is doing everything it can to go just, yeah, let, I'll keep you doing, I'll keep you doing. And it's not even about um, what might look like doing or being from the outside to someone. So I'll often say that it might look like from the outside, if, if I'm sat there staring out of a window, or even if I'm, I'm sat there or lying there, like watching, you know, a film or watching something on my, on my laptop or on the TV, it might look like I'm in a being energy because there doesn't look like there's much doing happening. But that's not necessarily true. You can't judge doing and being. You can't notice doing and being from the outside as an external observer. It's all an inside job. One of the things I absolutely know to be true is that most of the time when I'm watching TV, I am doing because the thoughts are going and going and going. The thoughts are noticing what's happening um, in the programs that I'm watching or with the characters or with the people in the shows and it's judging and it's thinking and it's trying to sort and it's trying to fix and it's trying to make meaning of all of it. That is doing. Thought, thought from mind is a doing energy. So again, you can be sat staring out of the window, but your mind is swirling and whirling, bringing you all the thoughts and it's a doing energy. What I'm referring to with the being is though that beautiful space and those beautiful moments where for even a second, the thoughts quieten and any words that come through or images that come through or feelings that come through, come through from a place that feels just truer, more open, more free, that feels not even necessarily like joyful or excited or like an aha insight moment. It's that real connectedness to peace and freedom and a total, total presence in the moment. Even if just for a second, even if just for a second, because it's in those beautiful spaces and expanding the breath into those beautiful spaces where some higher inner guidance is allowed to expand, is given the opportunity to breathe into you, to show you something. And I know that that is absolutely what happens for me more and more and what happens for people I work with when I talk to them about this and they share it with me more and more, we allow ourselves to expand into that. That's what this is about. That is what this is about. What I'm guided to share with you is my journey leading up to even creating Tub Talks in this first episode. And actually what I'm being guided and shown now is that there were loads of beautiful, what didn't so much feel like beautiful, felt like kind of struggling moments along the way, but I know to be beautiful moments along the way towards this, where 
my mind body self, my ego self, bless her, was, was scared. And so she brought me all the reasons why I had to wait, all the reasons why, you know, it wouldn't work. I mean, recording in a fucking bathroom, <laughs> right? It, she brought me all the reasons why we had to just wait until we got that sorted and that sorted and crossed all the T's and dotted all the I's. And I'll tell you exactly why she did that. Because right now I can feel it in every fiber of my being and wisp of my soul. She brought that to me because she was scared of the success that we were inevitably going to step forward and create more of. She was scared of the visibility. She was scared of me really stepping up and stepping out into the light. I think it's Marianne Williamson who, who said that beautiful, beautiful line, right? About how it's not truly that we are afraid of being inadequate. What we're actually scared of is that we are powerful beyond measure. We're scared of the fact that we are powerful beyond measure because that's the truth of it. It's not our darkness. It is our light that scares us. And when I say us or me in that context, the only me that I'm referring to and us that I'm referring to is this wonderful, prote protective, bless her, <laughs> bless her little heart, identity, ego, mind and body, me and you that just wants to protect us, that just wants to keep us safe. And so that is why what we're doing right now, what I'm doing right now in the fucking bathtub with you is so powerful and so important. Even if I wasn't sharing this with you, me allowing myself just even a few moments a day to really connect with a higher, truer, more limitless, more open, wiser version of myself that knows that, that knows that I'm worthy of success, that you're worthy of success, that knows that I am totally safe, I'm totally loved, I am totally enough, exactly as I am, to connect with her, because she is the one that is going to help to guide me forwards, and she is the one that's going to help me to talk to this beautiful, scared part of myself, of my human mind and body that says, please don't, we're scared, please don't step forwards. The self I connect with when I am most in flow, when I'm in my being energy, when I'm completely present, when I'm in the bathtub with bubbles all around me, that's the self who is going to hold the hand of my other selves, of all of them, and say, it's okay, my love, I've got you. I've totally got you. So I'd love you to take a moment. I was about to say to have a think about, but I don't want you to think about it. I'd love you to take a moment to feel, to feel into where you are most connected with your true self, where you allow yourself the space for even just a moment, a fleeting moment of being. And I invite you to invite more of that into your life because that is where the true fucking magic lies, right? I'm so happy you joined me for a spiritual soaking. I don't know about you, but I am pruning up quite nicely here, so it's probably time to hop out. Make sure to hit the likes and subscribes and all that jazz, and I'll see you again soon for our next Tub Talks.